me. All right. Jill Case, our evolutionary astrologer, is joining us again with our monthly wrap as we change the uh, the zodiac. And this is my time. My birthday is, is January 30th. I am an Aquarius. This is what an Aquarian looks like, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Uh -huh. You had you any questions? His tie is very yes. Aquarius. Yes. Aquarius. What do you mean by that? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, the Aquarian energy is one that's kind of like ahead of its time. Yes, in some it ways. is. It's very different. It's very unique. <laughs> ahead it's of its time. Ahead of the grain time. at times. Yeah. Odd. Yes. <laughs> Very you fitting. could say odd, yeah. Don't wait oh, a minute. Nice. Odd. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I used to read the back of the newspaper, right? You mm -hmm, read about right. your, your horoscope, and but generally, uh, Aquarians are known to be leaders, correct? They Outspoken can. They people. lead change. You know, if you think about um, now Martin Luther King today, which we're honoring, um, he was not an Aquarian, although he's on the cusp. But um, people like Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Edison, um, Rodney Oprah, Hill, Oprah, um, Oprah Winfrey, <laughs> is, uh, Rodney Hill. Yeah. Uh, who gave, right who gave you this list? Oprah, Oprah, you know? Oprah. Yeah, Rod. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All these are. Aquarian um, type people and these these energies lead change. They think outside the box. They have a way of seeing problems in our culture and just our reality in different ways. That's so cool. Now I just got done. I'm a Capricorn. Yeah. So, so what are you even talking for? You're done. Well, You're out. Oh my God. God. <laughs> it's going to his head. What can yeah. we take with us from Capricorn to kind of yeah. break free when we move on to the season of Rod, as he would say. The season of Rod. <laughs> yeah, the season of Rod. I like that. Out of control. We redefine this. So yeah. in, in Capricorn, we might have been facing a lot of our challenges, adversities. We're seeing, you know, kind of the heaviness of maybe where we want to be. We're setting goals. Sure. And so the Aquarian energy is a really great way to look at our problems from a new perspective. So taking the same thing and not applying the same energy to solve it, but kind of thinking outside the box, kind of reshifting how we're framing the problem. Um, kind of bringing in some new insights, per perhaps. So you say do one uncomfortable activity yeah. a week. What would be uncomfortable yeah. for you, Rob? I did a sit-up just yesterday. Oh, <laughs> one sit-up. Getting crazy. crazy every second of it. <laughs> what do you kind of mean by that? So you could even drive a different way to work. Notice what you see on this new way to work. Notice what bumper stickers Is you Is that notice. because they're set in their ways? Yeah, sometimes when you're set in your ways and you see the same things, you tend to look at minute. everything the same way. <laughs> so we're trying okay. to kind of shift the energy a bit so that you can talk to new people. You can have a different way of looking at things through the different experience mm -hmm. you're having. Um, so sometimes just interrupting the patterns mm -hmm. are a great way to think outside the box and kind of interrupt the, the normal the way. Because Capricorn's very consistent, right? right? Does the same thing over and over again because it works. Boring. But if it's not really That's working, routine. we have to change it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, who's a good match for Aquarius? We, you know, it really depends because we're only talking about like the sun sign right now, which is one time. But really, you know, Aquarians like a lot of different things. They like diversity. So there's mm -hmm. not just one, right? Because there's yes. going to be a lot Tacos of benefit to a lot chicken. of the different things. <laughs> I knew you were going to say fried chicken. Fried <laughs> <laughs> <My> chicken. <laughs> Oh but but seriously, it's just a time where I should really grasp this uh, period of weeks and, and kind of focus on my inner thoughts, on my inner energy, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and just kind of doing something different. You know, even just like every, every day, just doing something different or trying something that's a little bit uncomfortable, like you're going to go to a yoga class. Maybe you've never been to yoga. Okay, give me something Or else. you're going to start cooking <laughs> and you've never uh, cooked anything before, but yeah. just trying things that you might have the possibility of failing, but it kind of gets you more comfortable with the unknown because that's really the big thing in this time is being more comfortable with the unknown, with unpredictability, with trying new things, with kind of breaking free. I, I think that's like great advice should, yes. for anyone. We should all Just try do for that. something that yeah. you're uncomfortable with each day, mm -hmm. and then before you know it, I mean, you have new skills. Yeah, and, and you're talking to someone yeah. at the coffee shop who happens yeah. to know the person that you need to connect with. Yeah. Or well, we know this man is idea. not shy <laughs> at well, all. Well, I think we close the segment by saying, find Rod's an Aquarian and give him a kiss, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> love it. We love this little guy. It's the month of Rod. It's the month of Rod. Just be like Rod. Yes. <laughs> Just be like Rod. We'll be right back. <laughs>